If you're a creative designer who is into designing of posters and you are part of those creatives that say, I'm not really a fan of designing party posters, you're getting it wrong because party poster is part of what we do. Swindy again from Caesar Graphics, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys one of my tricks on how I achieved successful party posters. If you need the exercise file, simply make use of the link in the description section of this video. So sit back, relax, and keep watching. All right, so let's start by creating a new document. So I'm going to click on file and I'm going to select new. And I'm going to make uh, my width here 900 and height is going to be 900. I'm going to tag this party poster. So the reason I'm using this frame size is because I'm planning to post this on my Instagram account. So I prefer this frame size here. All right. So resolution is going to be 72 and my color mode here is going to be on RGB. All right. So I'm going to click on the create button. So I'm going to drag my background in now from the exercise file. So I'm going to drag that and drop here, right there. And I'm going to make this real big. All right, because I like this skyscrapers here, and that's the um, sort of using the skyscrapers as the pattern on my back. All right, so I'm going to hit the uh, enter key. So the idea of using this particular image here is to avoid making my background too flat. Okay, so then I'm going to add levels to this because um, I really want to make this uh, darker like that. So I'm going to move this down. You know, uh, and yeah, this is fine. Then I'm going to add a color lookup. And under the color lookup option here, I'm going to use the foggy nights here. Bam. That is beautiful. Okay. Then we need to go to Illustrator because um, there's this geometric lines that we're going to use here on this project. So I'm going to activate my Illustrator now and go to the exercise file and drag my abstract geometric lines in like that. So you can get the link to the exercise file in the description section of this video. So I'm going to hit the image trace button here. And then I'll go to, uh, I'm going to select the expand button. Don't forget to do that. And I'm going to hit object and select on go like that. All right. So then I'm going to select that like that and go to select and hit same and click fill color because I'm sure we're still going to have some other white fill on the project. So in order not to add that to um our party poster we need to do this so i'm going to hit the delete key now and um, so i'm going to copy the abstract line with ctrl c now that is for windows users for but for mac users you're supposed to use command c all right then i'll go to, straight to photoshop and paste this by hitting ctrl and v all right so for for mac users you're supposed to use command c now under the paste option remember to check the shape layer all right so the idea of selecting the shape layer is for you to be able to change the color of your shape here in photoshop so i'm going to select the ok button now and i'm going to activate the frame transform by hitting ctrl t and rotate it this way and this should come right here so i'm going to hold on alt and make this bigger like that and position this here then i'm going to select the ok button then i'll make a copy of this all right and i'm going to push this out here like so and activate the free transform and rotate this this way and i'm going to position this here like that all right so i'm going to position this here and i'm going to hit the enter key then i'll make a copy of this again and this time i'm going to move this up here like that and activate the frame transform again and rotate it this way and i'm going to position this here then i'm going to hit the enter key so let's check the color code here because that's the color we're going to be using on this project so i'm going to select the shape here and go under the color field here and click on the color picker option here and see the color code is a e 40 to a zero so i'm going to select the ok button now all right and i'm going to put this in a group so i'll just select the three layers and hit ctrl g and call this lines okay then i'm going to drag the smoke image in like so 
All right. So I'm going to make this real big like that. And we're going to position it here and change the blend mode to screen like so. All right. Then I'll make a copy of this. Okay. And activate the free transform and rotate it this way. So I'm holding down shift now. As I rotate the smoke layer, all right. So I'm going to move this and position this here. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to add um, a solid color layer here, and I'm going to use uh, red. So the color code for this is D7 with four zeros, like that. Then I'll change the blend mode of this to darken like that all right then i'm gonna make a copy of this like so okay and this should be above this should be above this and i'm gonna make i'm gonna activate the free transform and make this bigger so okay, let's just rotate this a bit like that and this should be here so i'm gonna drag the image of the stage in like that and make this real big and then I'm going to rotate this this way and make this position this somewhere here. And rotate it like that. Position this here, like so. And I'm going to add a layer max to this because we need to fit this side of the layer. All right. So I'm going to change my blend mode here to screen. Then I'm going to select the brush tool. Then under my brush settings here, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the soft round brush. Then I'm going to increase my brush size. Now make sure that your foreground here is set to black before you apply the brush. Now, the other thing you need to also know is make sure your transfer is checked. That's if you have a graphics tablet. But if you don't have a graphics tablet, turn your flow down to 11. So the idea of making all these moves is for us to be able to control the strength of our brush. So I'm going to, I'm going to gently apply this here like that. So what I'm going to do is to add hue saturation, all right, because we need to change this to pink color, all right, we need to change this back to the pink color that we had previously. So I'm going to move this to this side here, like that, and I'm going to increase the saturation. So, let's see. yeah, this is good. So I'm going to boost the saturation like that. Now, the smoke here is not really looking the way I want it, so I'm going to use, use hue saturation on just that um smoke layer so i'm going to select the clip icon because i only want this to affect the um, smoke layer so then i'm going to move this down to this side like that all right and can just boost the saturation like that and this is okay like that so i'm going to drag and drop here like so and just come right here and i'm going to scale this down a bit and then rotate this then i'm going to drag the next image in and I'm going to scale this down. Good. This will come here. The vector key. This one is here. Right there. For the next image, drag and drop. Then right click and flip this horizontal and scale this down. This should come right here. All right. Now this is good. So what we're going to do now is we need to. Um, Fit the bottom part of each of the layers. So I'm going to start with the very first layer here and I'm going to add a uh, to it. Select the brush to make sure your foreground here is set to black. And I'm going to go under my brush settings here and make sure that I'm still on the soft round brush. And I'm going to gently fade this out like that. All right. Fade it out like that. Okay, so I'm gonna make the same move to this. Yeah, this is good. So the other thing I'm gonna do is now there's the, there's this part of always creating separation between your characters when working on party posters. So I'm gonna do that now by first off, I'm gonna select the layer of um, I'm gonna select the fourth layer here and select the new layer icon here and call this brush. All right, so the set simply means suppression brush. So I'm going to just um, apply the brush here, like so. 
Let's go for the second one. All right. Um, yep. Then select the layer two. First layer, uh, new layer. All right. Then one other thing I'm going to do now is to convert each of the pictures to black and white. So to do that, I'm going to um, select the very first layer here, and I'm going to select the black and white adjustment here. Now I'm going to make sure that I click on the clip icon. Now there's a, there's this um, concept that I want to bring out here, which I want you guys to pay attention to. All right, and that is making the highlight more brighter and then making the shadow darker all right now the mid-tone is necessary but it's not as necessary as the shadow and the highlight here all right so i'm going to move this out to boost the highlight and i'm going to use the yellow to just make the shadow a bit darker like that all right so then i'll go straight to the next image here and i'm going to activate the black and white adjustment again and click on the clip icon do the same move boost the highlight and push the uh yellow down like that and the same move on the layer two black and white clip and post this like that All right just down like that so here i'm gonna make the same move again black and white clip and post the highlights like that and push the stop like that now this is good so i'm gonna put the picture of the the artists in a group so i'm going to shift select all the layers now and i'm going to put them in a group by hitting ctrl g like that all right then i'm going to name the group folder as uh, i'm going to give it artists and i'm going to create a new layer and call this glow like that then i'm going to make sure that i'm on the lasso two here all right? i'm going to select the lasso two and i'm going to draw a marquee shape here like so I'm going to fill this layer with the pink color of my foreground here, right? So I'm going to hold on hold and fill this now and hit Ctrl D to take away the marquee. And I'm going to activate the free transform and make this smaller like so. All right, then I'll go to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blouse like that. And I'm going to reduce this like that and select the OK button. Then I'm going to select the brush too okay and i'm gonna just add more brush to this side of the project okay like that now this is looking exactly the way i want it so i'm going to close this actually this is supposed to be, okay let's just leave it there all right then the next thing i'm going to do is to add a gradient map so i'll go back to the adjustment tab again now and activate the gradient map um option here and i'm going to select the clip icon because i only want this to affect the group folder of the artist okay then i'm going to click on the gradient editor right now and i'm going to start with the very first slider here i'm going to double click on this to activate the color picker the color code i'm going to use here is a1 a1 f6 ff like that then i'm going to select the ok button then i'll double click to activate the color picker again here and the color code I'm going to use right now is going to be 65B, 65B6DF. All right, then I'm going to select the OK button and hit the OK button now. Now, I'm going to check the reverse option here. All right, and I am going to double click on the gradient map layer um, to activate the layer style. All right, so then I'm going to make sure that I'm on the blending option. Very important. Make sure you're on the blending option and i'm going to take this out from the shadow by moving this out here like that and i'm going to hold on alt all right to split the slider and this should come this way and this should come here like that all right now this is good okay then i'm going to select the okay button then the next thing i'm going to do is to add a solid color right now all right then the color code i'm going to use for the solid color is going to be f29 f29 um c50 
like that all right um let's just make this more orange and so I'm, I'm gonna select the okay button i'm gonna hold on alt and place my mouse in between the gradient map and the color fill layer so i'm gonna wait till i see the black arrow facing down with the white box and i'm gonna click to click that inside the gradient map so i'm gonna double click on the color fill layer again to activate the layer style now i'm going to move this from here down here because i don't want this to be i don't want this on the shadow like that and i'm going to hold on alt and split the slider and this should move right here and this should move back here like so all right then we need to take this out from the um the highlights because we're only affecting the mid tone here now so i'm going to move this out like that and i'm going to hold down alt and break the slider and this should move here like that and this should touch this a bit like like that all right and um let's see if i move this in a bit more let's move this in a bit more right and this is looking exactly the way i want it so but for now i don't want this to affect the eye of the lady so i'm going to select the gradient map layer mask here select the brush tool and i'm going to zoom in like that reduce my brush size and make sure that my foreground here is set to black and i'm going to take this out from then same thing here do the same thing by selecting the layer mask of the orange color fill and just make the same move again make the same move then like that and let's see what we have now this is beautiful all right so we can even make the same move here we take the same take the brilliant map out from the eye and then and yeah i'm sure you're enjoying this tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorial all right so let's go back to the tutorial what i'm gonna do now is to start adding my text so i'm gonna select the color field layer here well, let's make it 68c 8c let's add more value let's boost the value and select the ok button like that and there's another thing i want to do here i'm going to just hide this for now then i'm going to select the color fill layer and stamp visible the project by holding control sheet alt and e like that and i'll go to filter sharpen and select smart sharpen so the idea of the of having the smart sharpen is to you know add contrast to the pixels so i'm going to make my sharpen 134 radius is going to be 0 0.5 and reduce noise is going to be zero and i'm going to select the ok button like so all right so i'm going to make this visible now like that by using the free transform to do that and i'm going to make a copy of this again and i'm going to paste the friday text there like that all right so the font i'm using here is called compactor compactor bt all right so i'm gonna move this up here like so and let's move this up right here for now then i'll copy the party text all right and i'm gonna paste that here then the font i'm gonna use here is going to be hera wati right i'm gonna select the herawati text and i'm gonna turn off cap I actually like this in in um small case so i'm gonna make this a bit bigger and just position this here like that all right then i'm gonna go to the color picker here because we need to change the color of this to uh pink all right so i'm gonna pick the pink color from here and just increase the value hit the ok button and this should be above this like that this is good so i'm gonna select this layer here and click here and hit capital s like that and change this to um herawati swazis so when you download this font it comes with this so i'm gonna just activate the free transform like that and 
Let's drag this down. Let's turn this here. Like so, so let's add more drama to our title. So I'm going to shift select the fresh and um, Friday layer here and make a copy of this. All right. Uh, the very first two title that we typed, I'm going to convert the two layers to a shape. So I'll convert this to a shape. And also, I'm going to convert this to a shape. So I'm going to select the two layers, then select the shape to here, change this to no fill, and change this to the pink color we've been using. And then I'm going to change this to this dash strokes here. And let's see if I make this, let's make this two. Let's make the stroke width two like that. And I'm going to move this out a bit like so. Okay. Right. Make it like let's leave it like that, or let's just make it one. I'm gonna make it one. Let's see now. Yeah, this is good. All right, so then I'm gonna add the other text to the project, but I'm gonna be very fast with this. So for those of you that care to know the name of the font I use here, yeah? so this here is um, Shader Gothic. I'll try my best to put it in the description section of the tutorial. All right, and um, so for this, it's still the same font, and um, this is still the same Arawati font that I use on the party um, text here. Okay, so let's start fine tuning this. And um, if you look at the project, you notice that, that we can hardly see the make the text on the brighter um uh, part of the background all right so we need to fix that so i'm going to start with the names so i'm going to hold down control and shift and then click on the thumbnail of each of the names to convert to create a marquee of the names and i'm going to uh, click on the done text here and create a new layer and call this shadow 
okay and this should be behind this like that all right then i'm going to go straight to the color picker and make the value of this color real dark all right i'm going to make it really dark so i need to even color, copy the color code because i'm going to apply it to the other part of the, the project all right so i'm going to apply the color now to the layer by holding on alt and backspace like that all right then i'm going to hit one to d to deselect to take away the marquee and this should be here like that and let's go straight to the um the date time and venue here but we need to put the information in our group I'm going to select the pm text here and shift select the date like that and hit ctrl g to put that in a group and i'm gonna call this dates time and venue all right and i'm gonna hold on ctrl and click on the thumbnail of each of the texts here all right and i'm going to create a new layer again okay then i'm gonna call this dtmd all right uh yes so i'm gonna put this here and hold on alt and with the backspace which is the shortcut to apply the color of my foreground to the project uh let's just call this shadow let's put btv shadow okay like that all right then i'm gonna hit ctrl d to take away the marquee like that and we need to move this out like so all right now this is good so what i'm gonna do is for the title we also need to put the title in our group okay so i'm going to put this in our group so i'm going to call this um let's just call this title like that and i'm going to shift select the layers and activate the free transform right click and select skill and i'm going to move this up like that and I'm going to move this down like that. Okay. Move this here. Should come here like that. So let's fine tune this. So um, for the name, I'm okay with the name. But for the title here, I'm having issue with this. All right. So this is overlapping on this character here. All right, so let's make the title more bigger. So I'm going to activate the free transform and move this out here, like so. So before the party text, we need to make that smaller. All right, so I'm holding down Control as I select the two layers now, and I'm going to activate the free transform and make this smaller right there. And this is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go to the uh the folder of the artists. I'm gonna look for this particular artist here and I'm gonna hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the uh layer of the artist here and I'm gonna select the title layer, all right, and I'm going to click on the layer mask icon here to you know to cut that shape out from the title and I'm gonna hit control I to reverse the mask like that. All right then um so for the rsvp here i did not remember to apply shadow to this so i'm going to hold down control and click to on the thumbnail of the text to create a marquee of the layer and i'm going to create uh, a new layer here and call this rsvp shadow like that and i'm going to hold on alt and apply the color to the layer which is the color of my foreground here and i'm going to hit ctrl d to deselect that and i'm going to move this up here like that and let's see this is beautiful this is beautiful guys all right then what i'm going to do now is i think the title i still need to move the title down so i'll go straight inside the folder of the title and i'm going to move this down like that because i'm still going to apply the logo yeah, I'm gonna put a logo here. All right, then one other thing I think I can I need to do here is I need to go to the abstract lines here and I'm gonna make a copy of this and move this above the layers here. All right, 
and activate the free transform and i'm gonna rotate it this way and this should come here or better still let's just flip this all right and this should come here okay and i'm gonna select the shape to here and change the color of the line here of the lines here and i'm gonna make a copy of this and position this here and we can even activate the trans free transform here and just rotate it this way and push this down here like that. All right, we'll move this here like that. All right, this is good. Okay, then I am going to add the logo of the brand. Actually, this is something I just download from the internet. So I'm going to change this to screen so as to take out the black field around the logo and i'm going to activate levels by hitting ctrl l because i can still see the shape of the background so i'm just going to take that out by moving this in here and in this this way select the ok button and yeah i'm going to create a new layer here and call this dot and i'm going to select the brush tool and i'm going to hold on alt take the color from here increase my brush size go to the brush settings here make sure you're on the soft round brush I'm just going to gently apply this here, like that. Okay. Then, one other thing I need to do again is there's still one more information we need to add. So, I'm going to first off make sure I'm on the um, shape layer here and I'm going to drag and drop the vinyl image here. And I'm going to position this here, like that, because we still need to add the name of the DJ. All right. So, I'm going to copy the DJ name here now all right now so i'm going to convert this to a shape and also convert this to shape right and i'm going to pull down control to select the two layers and select the shape tool here then i'm going to apply this color here and right here i'm going to say align out all right it should not be in it should be out and i'm going to add stroke to this activate it and then select free transform again and move this down here like so i think the stroke here is too heavy so let's just make this fun yes this is good all right so boom all right so how did it go so you enjoyed this tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video if you're able to achieve this tutorial or you're able to use the trick from this tutorial to achieve any party poster kindly post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me my instagram handle is at caesar graphics thank you all again for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace